morning, young Groms. It is 5.05 .05 in the morning right now. We are going surfing, and today I'm gonna tell you guys what kind of doctor I wanna be. If you guys are new here, my name's Lucas Hildreth. I'm in my fourth year of medical school. And if you guys have been here for a while, you guys have known that I've surfed so much through medical school. Most important things for me is that I didn't give up my passions during med school. And honestly, these past four years, I've had some of the best times of my life. When anyone starts medical school, they only have like limited experience. Like you've been to the pediatrician, maybe you got like lucked out, got to see a few surgeries, and you really don't know like what kind of doctors there are out there. I went into med school with a pretty open mind, like I just want to be a good doctor. In your third year of medical school, everyone rotates through each specialty and they really get a good sample of what it's like to work in a hospital and all these different specialties. My first specialty, I'm going to tell you last, but the first one I rotated through I absolutely loved and I was like, oh this is awesome, okay, but I haven't seen any other of the specialties. So next I went to pediatrics. I really liked working with kids. Uh, what I didn't like about pediatrics was I was there during like September, early, uh, late August, and it was just physical exams. It was just doing physicals for like kids' school reports, and like all the kids were fine. There was nothing wrong with them, like 99% of the time. And the sun is just rising right now. The waves are pumping. I'm so stoked right now. I gotta run out there. I can't waste any time. The waves are pumping. I got the mini Simmons and I got the chop tail neck beer that's like a 5.4. We got Yuri right there. He's out in the water. He's stoked. And uh, we're pumped right now. Next thing, I went into OBGYN. And I actually loved OBGYN. I liked doing procedures. I liked being involved in C-sections. Uh, the place I rotated at saw a huge patient load. And it was just really fun, like running around. Um, you know, everything would be quiet and then someone would be giving birth in one room and then, you know, uh, one woman would be like farther along than the next and be switching rooms, whoever like, you know, uh, you know, would like give birth next. I'm, in, by, I'm a little rusty on my terminology, but yeah, I was like, I loved running around. I loved being busy and we worked like insanely long hours and like I never saw my friends. Um, I like never saw my family. I did get to surf a little bit, but, um. Yeah, it was brutal, OBGYN. But I really loved it, and... It's absolutely pumping. Look at the beautiful waves. You got little, I would say, three to four footers coming in. Once in a while, you might get a five footer. But it's a great day to surf. All right, you can. let's do it. <laughs> Everyone in, like, all the residents there were, like, trying to get me to do OBGYN. Uh, but I don't know. It just, I don't know if I can do that for, like, a specialty. So after that, I went into psychology, which was like totally the opposite. Psychiatry was, I worked at a place that had a really well-known inpatient psych facility. Um, and I liked that too. Like I thought there was a lot of value in what they were doing. And I felt like I could really connect with patients. Um, sometimes I couldn't connect at all. And like, but you know, there was a lot going on there. Um, and it would, yeah. So after psych, I went into internal medicine which I also liked moving around the floors. I liked going up, you know, going down to the emergency room. I liked, you know, going to all these meetings and I liked moving around the hospital a lot. Uh, one of the biggest things I knew in my life is that I didn't want to work at a desk. I didn't want to work at a cubicle. Um, so I, I liked these jobs in the hospital where you were like on your feet and moving around. So we did two months of internal medicine and then I did family medicine. And family medicine was, was cool. I got to work, I worked, worked in like a very urban environment with a super diverse patient population. And, you know, I like taking care of people. I like talking to people. That one was more of like office work. So, yeah, just a lot of sitting around, a lot of like, the thing, I didn't like the flow necessarily of like waiting for a patient to get the vitals done or like, you know, having the tech go in and then the nurse do blood work. I kind of just, I felt like a little slow and like I didn't in psychology in psychiatry and uh, family medicine I really didn't like the like taking a lunch break aspect and like waiting for then to go see patients and like kind of drawing the day out I just kind of like to go 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 um, and then after internal medicine I had family medicine and then after family medicine I had 
uh, surgery. And I actually love surgery. Um, super awesome. Like, I love working with my hands. I was great at suturing. I grew up on a sailboat. I grew up tying knots to attach my surfboards to the roof. So, like, my knot tying skills were, like, next level. Um, and I like suturing and doing that stuff. The thing I didn't like about surgery was everyone's like, oh, surgery, that's so intense. Like, after you do, like, a million cholecystectomies, it's kind of like, you know, a lot of standing. And those longer surgeries, like, uh, the surgeons I worked with were super cool, and I loved it. And the surgeons I worked with were really into ergonomics. And you kind of have to be as a surgeon. Like, you're standing for long hours, not being able to pee in, like, these strange body positions like work operating on someone so I thought that was cool but ultimately after my surgery rotation I don't think I wanted to do that um. all right guys so just did a good session a little update my shoulder feels okay I was taking like super short little paddles instead of doing like the long ones and I feel like that helped a lot um, but yeah so my first rotation of third year was emergency medicine and I just loved it. Like, I was so stoked on it. I loved being busy. I never ate during any of the shifts. I was so busy, I would forget to eat. And that's what I loved. I love like, I just would kind of like surrender myself to the moment. I was working like 12 hour shifts and I would just be like, this is what I'm doing today. I was never in a rush to like go anywhere else. And I just could really like live in the moment when I was uh, working the emergency room. I also, felt like it was real medicine. I feel like people talk about real medicine a lot as like internal medicine. And that it is kind of like the hardcore, like physiology and like true medicine medicine. But I love like in EM, you have like this great balance of procedures and you have this great balance of, um, of also like really cool medicine, like pushing adenosine, like uh, giving meds that like act quickly and stuff, like pushing atropine on a patient with a, you know, a low heart rate, like, uh, I'm maybe not describing it right now. If you're like a program director watching this, this is not, I didn't really think this answer out. This is just me kind of coming, surfing, and talking about why I love emergency medicine. And the other aspect is I really love the leadership aspect. Like, I don't want to just work at a desk in like an office and like have a boss that tells me to do things or like be a boss that just tells other people to do things. I really like want to be like a team leader. And that's what I found in emergency medicine. Like, I want to know everyone's name. I want to know the nurse's name. I want to know the other doctors, the technicians, the janitors. Like, it's such a, like a, like collective effort. And you really like, you know, during a code or during a trauma, you, you really got to want to know who you're working with. And I feel like there's a, a real leadership aspect, um, like through playing sports, like playing football, through running my one mile every day, I feel like I'm leading by example. And, uh, that's what I'm stoked on. Like, I'm just stoked on emergency medicine. I've done a few rotations in it, and every time I rotate through a new ER, like, it just kind of reassures me where I'm at uh, and that I'm making the right career choice. Like, I love putting sutures in. I love, you know, uh, having the opportunity to intubate, even though I've never done that, like, besides just on mannequin. But I like these procedures. I don't really like surgical procedures where you're, like, standing through a six-hour surgery. Uh, so I think I found the right fit and like, you know, like the last thing, the last reason I guess why I love emergency medicine so much is that I feel like I found my people. Like the emergency medicine doctors I worked with were like super chill. A lot of them were like out, outdoorsy, outgoing. Um, they would run like marathons. Sorry, I got like flies biting my legs with the offshore wind. But yeah, I'm so stoked on uh, like the people I've met and like they're very relaxed, uh, but they need to know what to do. And there's something in emergency medicine called the 3 a.m. test. Like, is this someone you'd want to be with at 3 a.m. when everything goes wrong? And I just feel like I fit into that really well. And I feel like those are the people I kind of I want to work with. So, super stoked on emergency medicine. We got some awesome waves this morning. Yeah, we're actually meeting up with Mo right now. He's a thir third year medical student at Torocom. And uh, yeah, we're stoked. We're gonna do some shoot some drone footage and it's an epic day. I gotta work at 7 p.m. tonight. So surf this morning, gonna go home, sleep, and wake up at 7 a.m. and go to work. We got Mo put the drone away. That is my little baby. Get some good shots of Lucas Stratton. This guy's Stay a dangerous tuned. pilot out here. <laughs> yeah, I get up and close, up and personal. You yeah, know? it's good. That's when the shots are really good when you yeah. get a little, you know, into. Yeah, yeah, but you scare them, scare them a little bit, you know.